Hello everyone, this is West Potomac High School. We're doing the experiment, lesson two, greenhouse gases and ozone. I'm Mr. Fabian. I'm Ms. Matsi. I'm Mrs. Wilson. And we have Mr. Chavers in the background doing video production and Dr. Zami provide all the supplies. So uh, we're gonna get started by looking at lesson two, greenhouse gases and ozone. This is what you should have as the instructions. We've read the background information about uh, Joseph Fourier and the mathematician of what he wanted to learn. Um, in the experimental design, it says in this experiment, students will construct two models, one with a natural gas greenhouse effect and another with an amplified greenhouse effect to answer the following questions. And the question is, does the concentration of carbon dioxide affect the air temperature in a closed environment? So go ahead and write a hypothesis and if then statement, seeing if, if you think it'll have an effect, if it won't have an effect. And um, also you need to include the independent and dependent variable. The independent variable is the Alka-Seltzer, and the dependent variable is the temperature because that is what is being changed. So we have our three flasks. We're going to have one with zero, uh, one with four, and one with eight as the amplified. Uh, we're going to time it for 20 minutes total, and we're going to record the temperature every two minutes. Ms. Matsi is going to be showing the temperature, um, as well as I'll be announcing it, of what is happening with each flask. And we'll also have the light on showing kind of the sun. So, um, when I say go, when the timer starts, we're going to start putting the alpha seltzer in. What's the initial temperature? Oh, the initial, thank you. The initial temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. So you can go ahead and write that in your table. Um, and while we are about to put the alpha seltzer in, and while we're waiting for the alpha seltzer to change temperature, we also maybe want to figure out what is the title um, of the table that you're going to be writing in. All right, Ms. Wilson, are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go ahead. All right, so we have all of our thermometers in. They're all in the air, they're not touching the water. Um, you can see the eight is uh, pretty bubbly, a lot of carbon dioxide. The one that we didn't put any oxalicer has no, well, has, has carbon dioxide, but um, is not added to the experiment. And the temperature uh, is, and what we're observing right now is the temperature is increasing for both the one that has four and the one that has eight Alka-Seltzers. The one in the control group with zero Alka-Seltzers is relatively staying the same. So we're approaching two minutes. Uh, the one, uh, we'll start with the control temperature. That is at 24 degrees Celsius after two minutes. The one at is about 25 degrees Celsius for the uh, four alka seltzers and also 25 degrees Celsius for the um, uh, eight alpha Celsius. If we wanted to to shorten the video, we could pause in between these um, two-minute breaks. 
okay. know what I mean? Yeah. Not yet. Oh, dude, we have another minute, and we do yeah. four minutes. Wait, is it pulse right now? No. Oh. These bubbles actually look smaller, and these bubbles actually look bigger. Like, you, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, those bubbles are actually smaller, and these ones are bigger. And this doesn't really have any bubbles. So, for four minutes, uh, we've reached four minute mark. For the control, it is 28 degrees Celsius. Uh, for the four is 30 degrees Celsius. And for the eight is 25 degrees Celsius. Hmm, this one? Is it recording? Yeah. All right, now we're at six minutes. Uh, for the zero uh, Alka-Seltzers, we're at 27 degrees Celsius. For the uh, four Alka-Seltzers, we're at 31 degrees Celsius. And for the um, eight Alka-Seltzers, we have is 28 degrees Celsius. All right, uh, so now we have, we're at eight minutes. Uh, zero, for zero Alka-Seltzers, we're at 28 degrees Celsius. With four Alka-Seltzers, we're at 31 degrees Celsius. And with uh, eight Alka-Seltzers, we're at 30.5 degrees Celsius. All right, now we are at 10 minutes, and we're at now, for zero Alka-Seltzers, 28 degrees Celsius. For four Alka-Seltzers, we're at 31.5 degrees Celsius. And for the eight Alka-Seltzers, we're at 33 degrees Celsius. Woo. It's getting hot. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> All right, now we're at 12 minutes, zero degrees uh, Alka-Seltzers, we are at 28 degrees Celsius. And for the four Alka-Seltzers, we're at 32 degrees Celsius. For the eight Alka-Seltzers, we are at 33 degrees Celsius. All right, we're at 14 minutes, and for zero Alka-Seltzers, the control environment is 28 degrees Celsius. Uh, for the four Alka-Seltzers, it is now 33 degrees Celsius, and now we are at 35 and a half degrees Celsius for the eight Alka-Seltzers. So 16 minutes, uh, zero Alka-Seltzers, we are at 28 and a half degrees Celsius. Uh, for four Alka-Seltzers, we are at 33 and a half degrees Celsius. And we are now at 36 degrees Celsius for eight Alka-Seltzers. All right, we are at 18 minutes uh, for zero al for zero alka seltzers. We have 29 degrees Celsius. For uh, four alka seltzers, we are at 
33 degrees Celsius, 34, I'm sorry, 34 degrees Celsius, I apologize, 34 degrees Celsius, and with the uh, eight Alka-Seltzers, 38 degrees Celsius. All right, finally 20 minutes. We have zero Alka-Seltzers, 29 degrees Celsius. For the um, four Alka-Seltzers, we have 35 degrees Celsius. And for the eight Alka-Seltzers, we're rounding out at 39 degrees Celsius. All right, so now you have everything that you need to make your graph. On your graph, you want to put time in minutes on the x-axis on the bottom, and then on the y-axis, y to the sky, you want to put temperature. The temperature is going to be in Celsius, yeah. In terms of interval, you can do one box is equal to one minute on the bottom, but since we did it every two minutes, um, I just skipped it and labeled it like zero, two, four, six, eight. On the y-axis, you can also do one box is equal to one degree. Don't forget to um, create a title for your graph in the form of um, maybe the effect of the IV on the DV. So you can look back to the previous page if you're wondering what the IV is and what the DV is. Also, don't forget you're making three line graphs on the same graph. So you want to use three different colors for your line graphs. You're going to make one line graph for um, zero Alka-Seltzer, the control, one line graph for the four Alka-Seltzer, and one line graph for the eight Alka-Seltzer. Once you finish that, then you can start analyzing your data on the results page and then move on to the conclusion page. All right, everybody. All right, good luck. Enjoy yeah. the lab. Bye.